When it comes to advancing the LGBT movement, the images we see on the silver screen are the most effective media in changing the hearts and minds of the public. And Frameline has been doing that with the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival for the past 34 years. Nothing matches the experience of reacting to a film at the festival in a packed movie house along with 1,400 other moviegoers. Here are all the audience participation and the reaction. So really, we feel like we're in a different country when we're here, being from Los Angeles. It's awesome. Frameline is it's the, you know, it's the mother of all film festivals. It's like the creme de la creme. It's kind of like the pinnacle. It's kind of like the granddaddy of all film festivals. And it's like the sand, sun dance for, you know, queers. And after 11 days of films in four venues in San Francisco and Berkeley, Frameline announces six films to receive awards. No, the jury gives the best documentary prize to Z Croquettes, directed by Tatiana Issa and Rafael Alvarez. The Croquettes are a theatrical group of androgynous revolutionaries whose art contributed to the overthrow of a dictatorship and helped start the queer liberation movement in the 1970s. Through talent, irony, and humor, they left an enormous legacy that would remain unforgettable to every person who saw their work. Solange Hernandez. Você vê a força do, da ditadura. A gente se decora o nome do censor. Mas qual é a parte da música que você quer que eu tire? Ele falou assim, não é a música, o problema é a ideia. E na verdade, às vezes tinha músicas até que eram totalmente literais, inocentes, as pessoas arranjavam é, <risos> significados ocultos, anti-ditadura ali dentro. Era triste, era patético, entendeu? Paradoxalmente, foi o momento em que surgiram os croquetes no Rio de Janeiro. The jury gives an honorable mention to Postcard to Daddy, directed by Mikhail Stock. Postcard to Daddy received an honorable mention for its frank and thoughtfully crafted chronicle of one man's journey to yield himself and his family, and for his courage in addressing sexual abuse by his father when the filmmaker was between the ages of 8 and 16. 25 years later, he confronts his family and his father with his story in front of the camera. Dann habe ich noch mal zehn Jahre mindestens gebraucht, um das irgendwie zu bewältigen oder um schlichtweg zu überleben. Und dann habe ich auch noch mal einige Zeit damit verbracht, das auch in der Öffentlichkeit zu thematisieren, das mir nur zum Teil gelungen ist. Und ähm, durch den Schlaganfall so das Gefühl hatte, ich habe vielleicht tatsächlich nicht mehr so viel Zeit und er auch. Und insofern dachte ich, naja, es wäre einfach an der Zeit, ähm, da nochmal mit mir selbst und vielleicht auch mit ihm zufrieden zu kommen. The award for outstanding first feature film goes to Undertow by Javier Fuentes León. Contra Corriente, Undertow, is a supernatural story set in a poor fishing town in Peru. This centerpiece film at the festival is about a married fisherman and father-to-be who struggles to reconcile his devotion to his male lover within his town's strong traditions. Written by Javier Fuentes León in his directorial debut, the film is now screening at the Bridge Theater. Macho, ¿qué? ¿Y yo qué soy? No sé qué chucha crees que eres, pero deberías ver tu cara cuando... Andate a la... No, andate a la... ¡Tú, tu madre! Andate a la... The Frameline 34 AT&T Audience Award for Best Short uh, with a prize of $1,000 goes to... Remember Me in Red, directed by Hector Ceballos.
after Latina transgender community leader Alma Frora dies, her best friend Fidelia arranges her funeral. When Alma's parents arrive unexpectedly from Mexico to attend the funeral, they bury her the way they remember her, as a man. Fidelia must find a way to honor Alma's last wish before it is too late. Pero qué tipo de persona no le avisa a los padres de su amigo que su hijo ha muerto? Yo pensé que no querían saber, que no les interesaría saber. ¿Cómo no nos iba a interesar? Era su hijo Fidelia, tenías que decirles. A ver, que les diga este desgraciado por qué se quitó la vida Alma Flora. Alma Flora, ¿cuál Alma Flora si el hombre que está ahí se llamaba Alejandro? Alma Flora, no conocíamos a nuestro hijo. Audience award for best documentary goes to the Top Twins. I'm <laughs> It's uh, really a film about us and our, our career as uh, entertainers in New Zealand. Uh, we've been really well accepted in New Zealand. We're in the Music Hall of Fame back home there. Um, we've uh, been very political in our lives. And the other thing too is that it's a film not just about us in some ways, but it's a film about the politics of New Zealand. The movie is all about that, but it's also about laughter and about love. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> careful, isn't it, camera? <laughs> Gosh, you've got lovely big warm hands, haven't you? Yeah, I bet you know a lot of positions. <laughs> hey, Ian, how do you make your wife scream while you're making love? <laughs> Ring her up and tell her where you are. <laughs> Just calm down, Camp Leader. It's a folk festival, please. Mind your manners. Hey, why can't lesbians wear makeup when they go to Weight Watchers? <laughs> Because you can't eat Jenny Craig when you've got Estee Lauder on your face. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, the Frameline 34 AT&T Audience Award for Best Feature, which comes with a prize of $2,000, goes to The String, directed by Madi Ben Atia. The title of the film, The String, refers to the apron strings that still connect Malik to his mother and continue to keep him in the closet. However, that closet door comes crashing down when he falls for the family's cute handyman. Frameline screens some of its films for free every second Thursday at the LGBT Center in San Francisco. For more details, point your web browsers to frameline.org. 
in San Francisco. This is Raymond Donald Hong for Outlook Video.